okay then we have a third method called the dilatometric method a chemical kinetics of a reaction kinetics of a reaction is also studied using this dilatometer this is the black diagram of dilatometer you see here this dilatometer is kept in a in a constant temperature bath this dilatometer is kept in a constant temperature bath here is a thermometer in this method dilatometric method we actually uh, we are going to measure the change in volume of the the reaction mixture the reaction mixture mixture is taken into this tube uh, this tube is uh, taken into this tube as the reaction uh, starts uh, to give a product there will be a change in volume so as the volume changes the the reaction mixture will rise up here uh, in this in this in this reaction the reaction mixture will rise up into this capillary so the length length of the meniscus the meniscus of the meniscus is noted at various time so this is a simple method here uh, uh, this example here is di acetone uh, alcohol uh, dissociation of diacetone alcohol by sodium hydroxide uh, uh, kinetics of this reaction is studied using dilatometer this is actually a second order kinetics but when you take large quantity of sodium hydroxide then its concentration will remain constant therefore the reaction will follow first order kinetics other word, other in, in other words we say that this is pseudo first order reaction when you take sodium hydroxide in large quantity we usually take uh, uh, some about 100 ml of sodium hydroxide some 5 ml of uh, diacetone diacetone alcohol uh, how will you do this experiment here you have to uh, take diacetone alcohol and sodium hydroxide in separate separate vessel here you take for instance you take the sodium hydroxide in a conical flask then you maintain a uh, constant temperature you keep that conical flask in the in the bath to maintain its constant temperature to attain uh, equilibrium with this uh, temperature uh, water bath and also uh, take this uh, diacetone alcohol also uh, immerse here to attain uh, thermal equilibrium with this water bath and then add the uh, 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 diacetone alcohol and uh, sodium hydroxide mix it together and add into this tube with the funnel uh, you you just fill up the full full uh, you completely fill fill up this tube and open up the stopper then that will go the reaction mixture will, will go down here and fill up this bulb so once you once you start here once you start filling here when you when you mix this two uh, molecule you you open up you uh, you you start the stop stop clock you know you st uh, to note the time at zero time you are mixing these two molecule uh, and then it is poured into this tube and you open up this uh, stopper and that will fill up this tube and uh, it will as the as the reaction is already started so you will notice various time you will notice the meniscus rises into this capillary you know, this happens because uh, the density of the liquid changes when 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 the when the reactant to the product of course the density of the molecule changes you will notice the change in volume right this change in volume is measured when the reaction proceeds this liquid will rise up into this capillary so the the length of the meniscus that changes 
with the time is actually noted so this is how we um, we perform this experiment so what actually we measure is as i said this is uh, change in alcohol concentration uh, change in concentration of alcohol with time this is directly proportional to alcohol as i said this is pseudo first order reaction so that's why i use this first order uh, rate constant equation then i must know the concentration of alcohol let me write concentration of all alcohol or simply uh, you can also write diacetone alcohol so concentration of alcohol at zero time or or the initial concentration right this is given by l infinite minus l0 what is that l infinite l infinite is the length when the reaction is completed the the meniscus the length of the here the level of the meniscus when the reaction is complete that is l infinite minus l0 when the reaction uh, when you when you when you start measuring here when at the beginning as early as possible you have to note the meniscus position of the meniscus here that is l0 so if you if you uh, subtract l infinite l infinite the length of the meniscus uh, the position of the meniscus meniscus when the reaction is completed minus when the length of uh, the the meniscus the position of the meniscus when the reaction starts that is l0 at zero time so this, this difference will give you alcohol concentration of alcohol at initial time this is directly proportional to a and uh, a minus x is directly proportional to the concentration of alcohol at time t is equal to is is directly proportional to here directly proportional to l infinite minus l t so from these data you can find out the k value so that's about dielectrometric method so we actually measured the volume change using dielectrometer by conducting this reaction into 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 this apparatus into into this instrument so we measured the position of the meniscus at various time as the reaction mixture expands when it is converted to the product the position of the meniscus in the capillary is measured at various time say for example every 2 minutes at every 2 minutes you have to measure the position of the meniscus using this scale so this is how we study the kinetics of uh, such a reaction that it involves change in volume or it involves change in density